Here is NBC News correspondent John Chancellor. Good evening. President Reagan is in good condition tonight in a Washington hospital after several hours of emergency surgery. His press secretary, James Brady, is in extremely serious condition with brain damage. A Secret Service agent who was also shot is doing well, while a District of Columbia policeman is in serious condition with bullet wounds in the shoulder and the neck. After nearly seven years, the Brady Bill is about to become the Brady Law. Thank you, President Clinton, for your commitment to seeing this day realized. What we are witnessing today is more than a bill signing, is the end of unchecked madness. So I plead with all of you today, when you leave here, to be reinvigorated by this. Be exhilarated by the triumph of Jim and Sarah Brady and all these other folks who didn't let their personal losses defeat them, but instead used it to come out here and push us to do better. a special visitor today in the James Brady press briefing room. That would be James Brady himself. Brady and his wife Sarah stopped by and chatted with reporters in the West Wing. He was press secretary under President Reagan when he was shot during the attempt on the president's life. And the couple has campaigned tirelessly for gun control ever since.
Bradyac uh, is one of the great uh, success stories in our battle against gun violence and gun crime. Uh, the Brady Act is based on a simple premise, and that is that we know that certain categories of persons are simply too dangerous to have guns. We know who they are. The problem is we didn't have before the Brady Act a way of stopping them from buying guns at gun stores. Unfortunately, the assault weapon ban was allowed to expire, and now these horrific uh, magazines are back on the street. We were very disappointed that the five-person majority uh, uh, found the way they did. We think they were wrong. We were encouraged, however, that even this five-person majority made it clear that reasonable restrictions on guns are still allowed. Justice Scalia specifically mentioned restrictions on who can get the guns, what types of guns they can get, where they can take the guns. Common sense gun control laws are still something we'll be fighting for. After I graduated, I wanted to know what else I could still do. How are you doing, sir? I'm if we could see your Monty Egyptian. You know, you've been to one gun show, you've been to all the gun shows. Sometimes all you need is a license. Sometimes you don't even need that. And this is legal. All of this is legal. Everything that was done is legal. Do you want it? I was in the right place at the right time. I was in class. We've seen uh, police out with their weapons drawn, students out looking, trying to see what's going on, running out of buildings.
this afternoon, the Congresswoman uh, for Arizona's 8th Congressional District was holding a uh, get-together with constituents, constituents outside the Safeway in northwestern Tucson uh, when uh, authorities say a single gunman, a lone gunman, went into the crowd shooting, uh, shot her at point-blank range, we're told in the head, shot other people as well. After all, it's really the faith community that uh, ends up visiting the wounded in the hospitals, burying those who have been killed unnecessarily by gun violence. And this tragedy need not repeat itself time and time and time again. If it hadn't been for them, we would not have passed the Brady Law and then the ban on assault weapons and on cop killer bullets. Uh, and that means just if you just take the Brady Law, when I left office, over 600,000 felons, fugitives, and stalkers had been denied the ability to buy handguns because of that law. How many people are alive today because of Jim and Sarah Brady? How many?